get to, to get to the end of the race so if the number six car can work its way through the traffic as it's already doing it's not going to lose much ground here and i think the uh, number six car is going to be in the catbird seat oh, oh we've got contact there that was Ouch. between two of the porsches it looks like that's the number 48 porsche wow. that's a gt car together with the car oh the huge crash with Enrique Cisneros and or, or Eduardo Cisneros in the number 31 car, number 31 car right now being driven by Eduardo Cisneros, goes into the tires, flips up over onto the top, fortunately lands bottom down, but that was a massive shunt when those two cars came together. Once again, the number 48 car, which was a GT car, then the other car, the number 31 car, which is a GTC car. In the number 48 car was Marco Holzer. In the number 31 car was Eduardo Cisneros. And you see the damage to that number 48 car, the uh, right rear tire hanging off to the side. And now we're going to see where it's actually gone up over the barrier and landed on the tires. And I see the door open. We see in the pits the concern of the family members that are along pit lane. That was a very frightening accident. You could see the marshal's point there. And there we see the driver, Enrique Cisneros, wow. or Eduardo Cisneros, getting out of the car. That is a great sight to see. What an incredible shunt as the two came together. He hit the wall, flipped up over, and actually did a complete flip. And now you can see him pointing over to the other Porsche, the one being driven by Marco Holt. So thank you for the thumbs up. We appreciate that. And he's looking over at him going, what? What yeah. was going on there? Yeah, and uh, the 31 car was leading the class after a great first stint by Kuba Gimeziak. There's Enrique Cisneros, who is Eduardo's younger brother. And uh, you can see the emotion down there in the pit lane. You know, great to see that the uh, double thumbs up there because that was a very frightening accident indeed. You can see the car has ended up on top of the tire barrier. Just remarkable. That's a hugely scary moment because you saw the contact. You knew they were going in very hard, but you and then you saw the car manage to land completely flip and but with the roof slightly caved in. Let's take a look at exactly what happened. You see the two on cars the right side, side of the screen. By side they come together and they have so much momentum, they literally just go straight off. And there you see him kind of hit that little section. He gets a dip and he's bouncing along the wall. He doesn't just hit the wall and flip onto it, he is bouncing along that tire barrier. Wow, and that's right over the top of the Marshall's post as well. That was absolutely terrifying. And, and that's one of our camera guys. Rich White, you see him at the camera where it says TV crew. We understand he's okay. That's a great sign. See him standing with this camera, never flinching. Rich White does an incredible job of following that. But in the meantime, there you see like, him moving off to the side. Everybody concerned. The tire marshals there as well. This was the angle from Rich's camera as he sees the car literally coming at him and colliding with the tires directly in front of them. Meanwhile, you had that course marshal, that little uh, uh, area right there, and they were getting out of the way. And it's important to point out, this car does land straight up. And this is the onboard of Cisneros' car. And obviously we lose it just as he starts to go through. It appears that when he goes off course, he hits just a little bit of a dip and that kind of flips the car back over yeah. and sends him into the, you see just that little bit of a, of a building there. Not only stays with his camera, he stays with the action. Watch as he turns and follows the car as it's going along, unaware of course, that the Cisneros car is coming his way. He leaves the camera and dives off to the side and he's pointing to these guys off the side saying, you okay? You okay? If you're okay, I'm heading back to the camera. And then he's going to go back over here and make sure that the drivers are okay. Of course, after he gets his cat. Well, yeah, he has to listen to, to his producer down there to make sure. <laughs> Goodness gracious.